Hey guys and welcome back to another GameSpot Presents Now Playing and today we're taking a look at Max Payne for iOS. Now, you, this is exactly what you think it is. It's, it's Max Payne, the original PC game uh, brought to mobile devices and we're taking a look at the iOS version here but it will also be available for Android as well. Uh, you'll need uh, iOS 4.2 or later, which includes iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, or a fourth generation iPod Touch. But if you've got an iPad, you're in luck because it'll run on the iPad 1, 2, and the brand new one they've just released. And best of all, if you've got one of the new iPads, you'll also gain the Retina display support, which will make it look that much better. We're using an iPad 2 here, uh, but you know this is still a great indication of the, the way that the game will appear if you buy it for your device. Now if you're on Android, you'll also be able to pick this one up, but at the moment it's not going to be available until April 26th. This goes on sale, the, the iOS version goes on sale on April 12th, so it's probably available in your region right now. So we'll jump straight into things here and the probably the most obvious question is how the touchscreen support works and it's a lot like GTA 3 10th anniversary edition that Rockstar released not too long ago you're able to move around icons make them nice and big put them wherever you like but we've got to say the uh, the standard layout is actually pretty user friendly about the only issue that we've come across so far is that the right thumbstick is you know, your right thumb has an awful lot of jobs you, you can take your, your finger off the uh, left thumbstick but uh, to activate objects and, and the environment, that's not normally such an issue. But when you start doing stuff like shoot and dodge and uh, aiming all at the same time with the right thumb, that's when you'll come into a couple of issues. Uh, we'll do a really quick lap of the controls and there are a whole bunch of preferences here for the way you like to play. If you like hard lock or soft lock, uh, depending on how comfortable you are using the right analog stick. That can also help with the uh, bullet time multi-thumb approach unless you want to use your index finger. The free look is, is exactly what it sounds like. Light and hard lock um, mean that you'll still lock onto your object. The, the softer lock means you can still move around and, uh, and it just gives you a helping edge whereas the hard lock will actually stay focused entirely on your current target. You can also change your inversion settings uh, and the, the game supports multiple languages so uh, if you, you're anything other, than, anything other than English like French, Spanish, Italian, Russian, Japanese, German then you're in luck as well. You've got audio settings as well so if, uh, if you'd like to adjust the the, uh, the music volume and the effects, you can do that accordingly. So this is a really faithful recreation of the original Max Payne. Uh, as you'd expect with a Rockstar title, there is Rockstar Social Club integration, which we're not signed into here, but you'll be able to get a whole bunch of stats as well as their Twitter feed. Also, if you're into Max Payne 3, and, and frankly, you, you're probably a candidate for it if you're downloading a game like this, then you can actually visit their mobile site directly from within the app as well without having to, to leave the game and get a look at the, the latest news and screenshots and information. But you want to see this thing running, so let's jump straight in here. And it's the Max Payne that you remember. It's, it's the same opening cinematic, the same storyline, the, the same comic style uh, interludes between the, the bits of combat. It's, it's a really faithful port. Stand by 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. We've played a little bit of the game so far, and with the exception of the odd hiccup with the, the control system, and that's something we'll need a few more hours to, to really see how it responds. You know, the, the frame rate stays solid from everything we've seen so far. It, it, it runs really well, it, it looks great. Um, if you were looking for an introduction 
to the Max Payne series uh, in anticipation of three, or you just want to go back and, and play some of the classic the shooters, then, the, you know, $2.99 or whatever the asking price is in your region, this is, this is great value for a universal app. Over. Max with that million to mile stare. To make sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. Beautiful wife and, and a baby warn you, there's a, a slight spoiler American alert here if you haven't true. played the game previously. That you've frankly had to be a chance. It's been around a, a long time. Uh, something bad happens at, at Max's place. We'll skip ahead. And you'll see we're in the, the lounge room. Shell. And I mean, work our way up to I didn't like the, the way the show fateful started. bedroom scene. They've given me the best seat in the house, front row, center. What the hell? That now famous kill cam when you no, finish no, the last no, God, no, target please, in the area. Oh, baby. Our wife and daughter slain. Three years ago, everything ripped apart. And... More of the comic style cutscene, but we'll skip through those ones just to, to keep the demo rolling. And the first real level of the game in the New York subway. I came in from the cold. My Beretta stirred nervously under my. And coat. it's a pretty looking game. As yeah, we mentioned, they've done some work uh, turning it into um, slightly high def, um, a higher res version of the the game that you've come to know and love. And for this size screen, it looks pretty damn good. The animations are a little jankier than the, the ones you see in modern games, but you've got to cut it some slack because this thing is, has been around forever. Now the uh, the right and left analog sticks appear anywhere you like on screen, so even if your thumb migrates a little bit, you'll always be on top of the analog stick, which is fantastic. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Story of Max's life. Another body. The interaction button that appears on screen. See if we can find some painkillers. The there we go. So painkillers are as simple as um, double tapping the um, 
the silhouette of Max's body in the top left hand corner of the screen. You can see the lock working here. Makes it nice and easy to uh, pick off your targets if you want to use the uh, free mode. That works really well as well. Try and run through this early part of the game. Ourselves a shotgun. No way. Kiss it goodbye. Oh. Save the hostage and let ourselves into the. You saved me, man. Air up What's going top. on here? So as we a said, just double tap. Just from Max is outlined to use his painkillers. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Now, while we wait for our guard to come up and open this door for us. Home free. This way. The, the weapon system, because there's obviously no um, physical buttons or a mouse scroll wheel that you can use. You, there's a, a small menu you can flick down here to choose your, your weapons. Otherwise, you can scroll left and right with your finger. But again, you'll have to take your, um, your, your left or right thumb off the analog stick to be able to do that. And that's probably our, our biggest criticism of the, the game so far, is that you know it looks great and it plays well, but... You know, one of the limitations of a, a touchscreen um, game like this is that there's only so many ways to do input. Head through, and Max keeps the trains running on time. The train lit up like sure a Christmas working. tree. Power was back on. And that's about it for, for Max Payne. Uh, as we mentioned, it's available now on iOS devices, but if you've got uh, an Android device, you'll need to wait a little longer until April 26 for it to come out uh, across the globe. Uh, till then, you can, you can play this as your stopgap option until Max Payne 3 hits the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and the PC shortly after on May 15 in the US and the 18th in Australia and Europe. Stay tuned for our full review and check out Max Payne iOS, available now.